Welcome to the learning module, Five Parliamentary Principles. To remember how parliamentary procedure applies to actions of the membership, you can refer to a table of 82 motions, or as Mason's Manual of Legislative Procedure suggests, you can apply one of five governing principles. Principle number one, is the motion amendable? In other words, can a motion that has been made to the body be changed? Yes, but only if the motion can be made in more than one form. Think of adjournment. The motion to adjourn is simple, to either adjourn or not. This motion cannot be amended. Principle number two, is the motion debatable? All motions are debatable if the subject matter requires the members to reach a meeting of the minds through discussion. Motions are not debatable when they are simple procedural matters that can be understood by members without debate. Again, think of the motion to adjourn. No debate necessary to decide to adjourn. Principle number three, may a speaker be interrupted? Yes, when the concern of the body outweighs the convenience of a member. For instance, a speaker could be interrupted by a question of privilege requiring immediate action. Mr. Speaker, I smell smoke in the chamber. Principle number four, is a second required? Only motions require seconds in some legislative chambers. This is true of Idaho. Seconds are never required when a member has the right to question or demand, such as points of order, parliamentary inquiry, or a call for division. Principle number five, what vote is required? The rules of parliamentary law only require a majority vote on all motions. However, the Constitution, statutes, and rules can require a higher vote on specific motions. For example, the Idaho Constitution requires a two-thirds vote for passage of a joint resolution, and the House rule book requires a two-thirds vote to amend a House rule. Remember these five principles and you will be well on your way to mastering legislative parliamentary procedure and continue your legislative learning journey by viewing all of the learning modules in the Legislative Learning Lab.